everyone, I'm Anna and I'm Nika and we have a small business called Annika. Uh, this is our first working day of 2023 and also our first video ever. And we thought we were gonna show you around how one of our days looks like, so let's go. We mostly make ceramic mugs and we're gonna show you later how we make molds for them and also how we will prepare for this year. So first task for today will be to clean up this mess. This was actually my mom's guest room, but we convinced her to turn it into our studio. But for the molds and other messy things, we used the other studio, which we're gonna show you later. And here it is, it's still not done, but way better than before. And now we'll show you our second studio, where we make the messy stuff. As you can see, it's really messy here as usual. This is how a mold for our mug looks like. Um, <laughs> we haven't used them for a while, so there's some electrolyte coming out of them, but we'll clean that up. And we're gonna show you how we make them. And I know this looks scary when you don't use your molds for a while, this happens, but it's actually pretty normal and it's just water coming out, so you just wipe it off and it should be fine. But before we started slip casting, we mostly did the pinching method, uh, but now we are kind of mixing both. And now it's time to mix some plaster. With plaster things always get super messy, so it's good to have some protection. First we are gonna weight off the plaster, and please wear a mask while doing this. Then we're gonna add some water to the bucket. And this is actually a great trick if you don't want to mess up your bucket, just add a bag inside and then later you can throw out the bag and the bucket is still clean. And this is how our silicone mother mold looks like. It actually took so much time to create and invent this. We did it in collaboration with one company that does 3D printing from Zagreb. And now let's pour some plaster finally. Now give it a good shake and spray it with some alcohol. We will let the mold sit overnight and until then we will recycle some clay and clean the buckets. And we don't actually have a sink or water in our studio, so we are doing this outside and it's freezing and the water is cold. And by the way, these are some ideas that we have for our new collection. It's gonna be really cute and sweet with lots of flowers and hearts. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, you can subscribe to our channel for more content. And now, after cleaning the buckets, it's time to mix some clay for slip casting. It actually comes in powder like this, so we have to mix it with water and some additives. We're gonna let the clay sit in a bucket for a while, and we're gonna go to have lunch. <laughs> So after lunch, I just did some administration and made some posts for social media. I was actually pretty fast with that, therefore I went to the studio again to do some slip casting with the clay that we previously made. After around 20 minutes the slip has been in the mold, it's time to pour it out. Then I'm gonna turn them around and let them dry overnight. So I have left the mugs to dry overnight and now I'm gonna scrape off the top and take them out. And of course I'm keeping the remains of the clay to recycle it later. And this is how it looks like. It's going to be fully dry after maybe 2 or 3 days and then it's gonna be ready for painting. And this is how the smaller one looks like. And this is actually the smallest size we have. So it's been now around 2 days since we made this mold. Uh, we could have taken it out earlier but I just didn't have time. And I hope it turned out okay, we'll see. Finally, the baby is born. It looks pretty fine. Um, I'm gonna leave it to dry for around two weeks and then we're gonna sand off the imperfections and it should be nice. And that's all for today's video. Hope you made it to this part. And if you loved it, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Uh, also, let us know in the comments what would you like to see next. Bye!